Hi, this is Dr. Sri Devi here. Welcomes you for the second topic of our second module, Clay Catalyzed Solid State Synthesis of 7-Hydroxy-4-Methylcoumarin. This experiment can be designed for postgraduate level students. Let us see what is Peckman condensation reaction for the coumarin synthesis. The Peckman condensation allows the synthesis of coumarins by the reaction of phenols with beta keto esters. Here you can see the conventional procedure where diphenolic group reacts with beta keto ester in the presence of concentrated H2SO4 to give the product coumarin. And the non green component of this experiment is use of corrosive concentrated H2SO4. Coming to the mechanism of Peckman condensation, this reaction is conducted with a strong Bronsted acid such as methane sulfonic acid or a Lewis acid such as AlCl3. The acid catalysis, trans esterification, as well as keto enol tautomerism are involved in this reaction. A Michael addition leads to the formation of coumarin skeleton. This addition is followed by re-aromatization. Subsequent acid-induced elimination of water gives the product coumarin. Now let us see the alternative green procedure to avoid the utilization of concentrated H2SO4. The Green's procedure includes the clay catalyzed solid state synthesis of 7-hydroxy-4-methylcoumarin. The chemical required are resorcinol ethyl acetoacetate and K10 montmorillonic. Coming to the detailed procedure for the greener technique. Resorcinol was dissolved completely in ethyl acetoacetate taken in a round bottom flask to that K10 montmorillonite clay was added and mixed thoroughly with the help of a glass rod. The reaction mixture finally appeared to be as a paste. It was placed on a hot water bath and heated gently for 3 to 4 hours. After completion of the reaction, the mixture was cooled to room temperature and the formed coumarin was extracted with ether by vigorous shaking. The clay was separated by filtration through Wattman 4 filter paper. Separation with ether was repeated for two times. Finally, the filtrate was evaporated and the product is obtained as a white solid. It is dried, calculated the percentage yield and check for the melting point. Let's see what is the green context of our experiment. Strong and corrosive sulfuric acid is avoided. A solid acid catalyst K10 montmorillonite is employed. Reaction is carried out in a solid state avoiding the use of solvents. Catalyst can be reused, largely reduced reaction time and ice bath conditions during the addition is avoided. You have to take a note for this reaction. When reflexed on a heating mantle, the yield increases significantly. Here comes the detailed mechanism for the formation of the coumarin from diphenols and beta keto esters. Thank you for your patient listening about the clay catalyzed synthesis of 7-hydroxy-4-methylcoumarin.